gobbledygook. I forgot. I didn't get the uh, babble fish. Put towel. Okay, this is obviously not where I want to go. Press switch. Look. Okay. <clears throat> Vogue on hold. This is a squalor room filled with grubby mattresses, unwashed cups, and unidentifiable bits of smelly alien underwear. A door lies to port, and an airlock lies to starboard. Your gown is hanging from a hook, and a towel is draped over a train on the floor. There is a thing your aunt gave you which you don't know what it is here. There is a satchel here resting in front of the, of the tiny robot panel. Ford is in the corner, snoring loudly. Along one wall is a tall dispensing machine. In the corner is a glass case with a switch and a keyboard. It looks like a glass case contains an atomic vector plotter. An announcement is coming over the ship intercom. This is the captain. My instruments show that we've picked up a couple of hitchhikers. I hate freeloaders. And when my guards find you, I'll have you thrown into space. On second thought, maybe I'll read you some of my poetry first. Repeating... Look at glass, at, at, at atomic vector plotter. The atomic vector plotter has a small receptacle and a long dangly bit. It bears a small label which reads, another fine product of the Sirius Cybernetics Corporation. An announcement comes over the ship's intercom, the same as before. Let's look. Look, Vogon hold. Guards burst in and grab you and Ford, which comes slowly awake. Who comes slowly awake? They drag you and down the corridor to a large cabin where they strap you into a large menacing chair. It's large menacing chairs. Captain's quarters in the poetry appreciation chair. This is the cabin of the Vogon captain. You and Ford are strapped into a po to poetry appreciation chairs. The captain is indescribably hideous, indescribably blubbery, and indescribably mid to dark green. He is holding samples of his favorite favorite poetry. Save the game as... We'll save a Vogon poetry. Yes, I want to replace it. Type in enjoy poetry. The Vogon captain hasn't begun yet. Look at captain. You see nothing special about the Vogon captain. If he's going to read his po us his poetry, mutters Ford, sweating profusely. Just pray softens us up with some cudgels first. Hello, hitchhikers, begins the Vogon captain. I've decided to read you a verse of my poetry. Type in enjoy poetry. Vogon Captain has begun yet. Oh, f hasn't begun yet. Oh, freddled grunt bugly, thy nacturations are to me. That's the first v verse. Oh, freddled grunt bugly, he begins. Thy mecturations, mecturations are to me. Enjoy poetry. You realize that, although the Vogon poetry is indeed astoundingly bad, worse things happen at sea, and in fact at school, with an effort for which Hercules himself would have patted you on the back, you grit your teeth and enjoy the stuff. As plurred old gobble blotchets on a lurgid bee. the first verse, I believe. Arg went for perfect. Okay. Uh, enjoy poetry. 
Hey, let's not undo overdo it, okay? Group, I implore thee, my footning turtle turling drones. Hey, that's is that the second verse right there? Group, group, I implore thee. My foonting turling drums. So that's the word. That's the f first verse, I believe. Enjoy poetry. Hey, let's not overdo it, okay? And hoopsiously drangle me with crinkle brindle whirls, where I will render thee in the the goober and warts with my blurngol crunchian. See if I don't. Enjoy poetry. Hey, let's not overdo it, okay? You looked like you enjoyed my poem. I think, yes, I think I'll read the next verse also. Enjoy poetry. Hey, let's not overdo it, okay? Bleem, miserable, vench it. Bleem, forever, mistinglish, asunder, frapped. Enjoy poetry. Hey, let's not overdo it, okay? Gashi, morfusit. Thou expungious kupisk. Enjoy poetry. Hey, let's not overdo it, okay? Fripping, lyshish, whim guns. A whilst moon govenly corm zibs. Enjoy poetry. Garum without tattooed form into formless bloit. Why not then, moose? Enjoy poetry. Vogon hold. Um, since you have somehow managed to survive two verses of my poetry, I have no choice but to space you. Guards! A guard grabs you and Ford and drags you toward the hold. Ford whispers, don't worry, I'll think of something. The Vogon hold. This is a squalid room filled with grubby mattresses, unwashed cups, and unidentifiable bits of smelly alien underwear. A door lies to port and an airlock lies to starboard. Your gown is hanging from a hook and a towel is draped over a drain on the floor. There is a satchel here resting in front of the tiny robot panel. Along one wall is a tall dispensing machine. In the corner is a, t a glass case with a switch and a keyboard. It looks like the glass case contains an atomic vector plotter. The guard releases you and Ford and begins cycling the air in the airlock. Hey, guard! shouts Ford. Do you really enjoy this sort of thing? Shouting? Stomping around? Shooting people? Is it really a fulfilling career? Let's save our game. Vogon hold after poetry. It's always good to identify your file file names. And push switch. A recording plays to open the case, type in the third word from the second verse of the captain's current favorite poem. Warning and incorrect input will cause the case to explode. For it continues trying to talk the guard into a sudden career change. So we want to type the word. So we're going to make sure we get this right. Bleem miserable venchant. To open case. Type in the third word from the second verse of the captain current of the captain's current favorite poem. Type in the third word, and the third word is Vench it. Type what's that word again? I get that word exactly. Vench it. I don't know the word venture. 
type quotes Venchit. The glass case opens! <laughs> Woohoo! I did it! Ford could to lying to talk the guard into a sudden career change. We're gonna save this progress. Vogue on hold. Glass case open. Glass case opens. Take atomic vector plotter. Taken. Four cartoons uh, trying to take talk the guard into sudden career change. We're going to save the game as uh, Vogon hold. Atomic vector plotter. All right, we got that part done. Now what? Take towel. Taken. Four continues to talk to guard and sudden career change. Take gown. Taken. The guard says, well, all things considered, I guess like being a guard, especially the shouting resistance is useless. He throws you and Ford into an airlock and closes the door. Airlock. This airlock has massive doors to port and starboard. Um... Airlock has massive doors to port and Stabarlo. Look, let's save our game as a uh, vector plotter. And we'll save it as Vogon hold airlock. Let's look. This airlock has massive doors to port and starboard. Ford Prefect is here. Ford points at the outer door. In about two minutes, it will open and we'll be ejected into the vacuum of space. But don't panic. I'll think of something. According to the... Um, Press green button. Every molecule in your body gets pulled away and every other molecule. Then suddenly they snap back together again like elastic and you'll find with a dizzying head and very sore molecules that you are in dark. Look, you can hear nothing, smell nothing, taste something. See nothing, feel nothing, and you're not even certain where you are. Type in here. Darkness. You can't hear anything, see anything, smell anything, feel anything, or taste anything and do not even know where you are and who you are and how you got there. Let's type EFT. You can't hear nothing, smell nothing, taste nothing, see nothing, feel nothing, and you're not even sure where you are. Look. Can't see anything, felt, smell nothing, feel nothing. I don't even know where you are and how you got there. Look, 